requirement number one. Present yourself to your leader, properly dressed, before going on an overnight camping trip. Show the camping gear you'll use and the right way to pack it and carry it. Camping out can be one of the best parts of scouting, especially if you take the right gear and if you dress for the occasion and the weather. Before picking your clothes and gear, it's a good idea to look at the weather forecast for the days you'll be camping. To be sure you think of everything you'll need, check out the checklist for personal overnight camping gear in your Boy Scout handbook. You'll definitely need the 10 outdoor essentials, like a pocket knife. Check. A first aid kit. Check. Extra clothing. Check. Rain gear. Check. Water bottle. Check. Flashlight. Check. There's trail food. Definitely check. And don't forget matches and fire starters. Along with sun protection, a compass, and a map. Wouldn't want to get lost. And the list goes on. Just remember, the checklist for personal gear and for patrol gear are in your Boy Scout handbook to make sure you have everything you need for your campout. We have an important saying in Scouts. Pack it in, pack it out. That means that whatever you take camping must be carried back home. We don't leave anything behind. No litter or gear, nothing buried or thrown into the woods, lakes, or streams. So you'll definitely need a backpack to carry your stuff and a cover to keep it dry. Some backpacks have external metal frames, and others have a stiff internal frame that holds the pack stable. The hip belt is important because it shifts the weight of the pack from your shoulders to your hips and legs. A pack that doesn't fit right can be a real pain in the back, so be sure to try out a pack with weight inside before picking one for yourself. Since you'll probably be carrying your own gear, along with some of your patrol's gear, here are some hints for packing your pack. Arrange soft items like clothes and socks so they cushion your back. Keep your rain gear, flashlight, first aid kit, and water bottle near the top or in the outside pockets where you can reach them easily. If there's room, put your sleeping bag inside the pack. If not, wrap it with a ground cloth or a plastic trash bag and tuck it under the top flap or strap it to the frame. And stowing items in the same place each time you hit the trail helps you quickly find what you need when you need it. Well, that's tenderfoot requirement number one. With the help of the camping gear checklist and additional info in your Boy Scout handbook, you can have your gear ready for inspection by your leader and ready to hit the trail. Then you'll be ready to have some real fun camping out.